It's a caricature of Carl Schurz, who was a Republican senator and eventually became a figure in the Grant administration. This is a standard minor political cartoon. In publications such as Harper's Weekly and Frank Leslie's in the mid-19th century, there were featured, usually either full page or quarter page, political cartoons usually done in the mid-1860s and onward by Thomas Nast. But then there were back page cartoons, quite small, often referring to a very specific event or policy or something going on that week or the previous week often very hard for us to determine what it is now. Also, many of the cartoons were social commentary, you know, the foibles of wealthy people or various other things like that. But clearly, the caricatures of shirts, I suspect what they're referring to when they say the carpetbag South are probably the votes of Republican candidates who have been voted into positions in the South, in part by the limitations that were placed during Reconstruction upon Confederate sympathizers until the Confederate states recognized a number of points including the 14th and 15th Amendment and so on. The basic notion of the carpetbagger, well, uh, it's a derogatory term uh, to begin with quite clearly and what it's proposing, and there is of course truth to this, that certain northern politicians packed a carpet bag. A carpet bag was basically what a carry-on bag now for when you go on an airplane. Packed a carpet bag, got on a train, went down south, and appealed largely to African Americans who for the first time were receiving the vote, at least males were. And in effect also, at least in terms of the stereotype, were corrupt, exploited uh, not only the difficulties southerners were facing after the war, but also were taking bribes as well as giving bribes. Now, there were many politicians who went down and uh, many of whom were quite idealistic and were going down, in fact, to promulgate equality and, for that matter, develop, uh, in some cases, businesses and the industries in the South, which later actually became sort of a standard, you know, policy. But the term was most definitely created as a critical term it sort of does imply that in one way or another you're either packing votes or you're going to be getting votes by some nefarious means. It certainly is never a compliment.